it's about time that we end one particular bad and sad joke, and that is that there is some kind of a um, educational system in this country because there's not. There's not. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I was very lucky. When I was a kid, growing up in the 60s, I went to Catholic school. When Catholic school was Catholic school, we had nuns. They were great. Nobody ever acted up. Nobody ever skipped a grade. Oh, you went back a grade? We heard about a kid who actually went back in in a grade because of his handwriting. He didn't pass handwriting. Handwriting. Today, do you ever hand a kid a pen? Ah, They look at a... They hold it like a dagger, the same way people hold forks. When, do you ever see that? When they cut meat, it's like, what is this? They're playing the cello. They're Pablo Casals at a Western Sizzler. In any event. Under my rules, we got to realize one thing. They come to grips with, with something which is very, very simple. Schools, for the most part, are glorified, um, well, they're basically daycare. I'm sorry. The teachers, I'm sure they're great, but listen, they're fate, they're they're through. They just want to get their retirement. They want to go to the rubber. They don't care. Look, stop it. And why should they care? I'm saying it's partly their fault, but not really their fault. Next, we gotta make a determination and right away who's gonna to go to college and who's not. Listen, you know, let's face it, there are people who aren't gonna to go to college at all. The only college you're gonna to go to is as the boys downtown call prison. We have to reintroduce this notion of vocational schools, trade schools, learning something, learning a craft, learning an art, learning something, learning something. If somebody wants to work with computers, do it now. Reintroduce woodworking and carpentry. Stop pretending that it's a one-size-fits-all thing because it's not. Next, school is not this default thing you go to. Here's the rule. Three strikes and you're out. Three significant, serious disciplinary actions, and you go home to mommy and daddy. You're on your own. That's it. Sorry, Mrs. Lipschitz. Little uh, little Bucky here is coming home. Why? Too scary. Too disruptive. He's yours. Sorry. What do you mean? You heard me. He's yours. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, no, no. He's yours. We're done. We're through. That's it. You know how many kids in New York City never came back after... Uh, after um, uh, COVID, remember all that nonsense with this remote learning? They just never came back. They're, they're, they're not AWOL. They're not, uh, they're not uh, truant. They're just gone. Nobody cares. We're, we are losing our shirts to China, Europe. We've got, let me tell you something about China, all right? One of the biggest cons ever is that how terrible China is. Do I want to live there? No. But I don't want to live in Hawthornsville, Utah either. And I just made that city up because I just don't want to live there with all due respect. But let me tell you one thing about China that they do. You know, whenever they talk about these uh, factories where they make the, you know, the Apple phones and people are jumping out of the windows and it's a hellhole and all this. Let me tell you about this place. I'll never forget this. Somebody told me years ago that... If you, that Apple or somebody, and don't pair, don't quote me on this, but I'm, I like the idea. That Apple said, we need a factory where we can have like 200,000 workers. We got it. Oh, and they have to be educated. We got it. And middle management has to have a master's or higher. We got it. And we're going to go 24-7. We got it. That's why they're there. Not just because Apple and Cook and all these people are into, you know, draconian slave-like working place, but that because they have something that the United States does not have because our education sucks. Sucks. And you think with Elon and this business about rocketry and SpaceX and all this stuff and AI, you think there would be this resurgence. You would think there would be this in it. No. Go to any class. Do your no better yet. Go to any public school. Kind of just hang around. Not hang around. That looks weird. But just listen over here. A, a, a playground. You will hear mind numbing p- paralytic vocalese. Kids who can't make eye contact. Kids who've never held a ball. Kids who swipe. Kids who were just enfeebled by virtue of psychotropic medications, bad families, a lack of initiative, a lack of imagination, a lack of smarts, 
not to mention homozygotic cousins inbreeding over the course of generations, and that's who we are. Am I being harsh? I'm not even being harsh enough. We are through. Let me tell you something. Until somebody comes in and says, all right, that's it. We have to care as much about kids in school and building the best and the brightest than we do with, you know, NBA or football or NFL or whatever. That we care about. Oh, we go crazy over that. But do we care about anybody, any any, any uh, kids who, I mean, we used to care about Eagle Scouts, which frankly I think is one of the dumbest things anybody's ever done, but it doesn't matter. At least we cared about it. Not anymore. Do we even have Eagle Scouts anymore? Let me tell you something. We've got to act now and quick. And listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not just I'm not just saying this. I'm not just I'm not just being cute. I'm not just, you know, acting like uh, like one of these Bill O'Reilly wannabes with this kind of a no shite obviousness, you know. And we gotta get back to basics. Yeah, I know that. Thank you very much. I'm talking about the essentials. The essentials and why we're losing. Do I have to remind you we're the only country in the world that has somebody who was who was brain damaged and brain dead a man who as a friend of mine said would you let joe biden drive you home from the uh, from the airport no we have a guy who shouldn't be handling sharp objects this is a guy walking around yelling who ordered the veal cutlet we had we had uh, diane feinstein who didn't know where she was we got fetterman who's talking into some kind of a machine he did, i don't know where he is mitch mcconnell hasn't blinked since the late 80s i i mean this is this is where we are and we're just accepting it and we're accepting every variation of demented and degenerate, but we reject excellence when it comes to intelligence, reading, education, talent, gumption. I'm not even sure what gumption is, but you know what I'm talking about. This is where we are today. Education, education. We ought to have schools, special schools, special treatment where we pull these people, we go out scouring to find out who's the smartest, who's the brightest, and we take them and we we coddle and we 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 coax and we we luxuriate them with with respect and we say you're going to make a commitment like people would do to the military. You're going to make a commitment to steam and other kind of projects. We have to do something to try to reinvigorate, recultivate, refocus, repurpose reorient, recalibrate what used to be in our country, this respect and this admiration for smarts. There was a time in the when, when Einstein came over here, he was the hottest thing in the world. Let's face it, when was the last, the last big scientist we cared about? Stephen Hawking. Why? Because he was in the chair and he was on South Park. Or, nobody knew what he was. Nobody knew Hawking radiation. Nobody cared about that. No, no. We've got to do something and do it now, my friends. And it has. it's more than just Trump and... Biden, it's about us. It's about who we are. It's about a reinvigoration and a reconnection and reattachment to the notion of smart. You got it? Good, because you're smart. Okay, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell to be notified of new, you know, videos and stuff, and comment as you see fit.